Jose, we first told you about the rat infestation last night. Now county officials fear the rodent problem could get even worse. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. KPI X5's Len Ramirez first broke this story. He's here with a follow-up report. And Len, those critters are pretty hard to miss behind you there. That's right. Uh, the rats are still here. In fact, if we can zoom in just a bit, uh, we've been keeping an eye on a couple of them there. They appear to be uh, hovering around uh, some liquid there. So they've got apparently food, water, and shelter with all the debris field uh, in the dumping area right next door. Now, uh, concern is growing as well as the rat population. And uh, people are also concerned about the apparent lack of accountability for the state agency which controls this property. Our cameras were rolling when this large rat came out of a debris pile on Caltrans property beneath an elevated section of the 280 freeway in downtown San Jose. The rat appeared to be badly injured or diseased as it shuffled around a homeless camp nearby. The fact that it came out in the daytime is an even bigger concern for Santa Clara County vector control officers. You know, rodents are usually uh, active during uh, the nighttime, but it's not unusual to see high rodent activity during the day when it's a large infestation. So that shows a large infestation? Yes. Last fall, Vector Control began a pilot program to trap, test, and eradicate rats around homeless encampments. Multiple tests for one form of typhus came back negative. But that program had to be postponed because of the pandemic, and officers have not inspected this rodent hotspot. Rats can cause respiratory uh, illnesses, um, you know, exposure to their feces and their urine. Of course, there's also the diseases that um, lice and fleas that are attached to these rodents that they could carry and transmit to humans. Caltrans, which controls a property beneath the freeway, has not responded to repeated requests for comment. No response and no action is the reason why neighbors like Jim Salata have been organizing groups to clean up trash themselves around San Jose freeway ramps, trash that's been piling up apparently for years. What's wrong with it? Nobody's doing their job. Len, so is Vector Control planning to resume, get out there with its eradication program? Well, they uh, indicated that they want to, but because of the pandemic, they, um, their practices would have to change because what they do is they set traps and then they have to interview the uh, people living in the camps about uh, what the rat activity is in that area. So there's face to face there with uh, that population. And that apparently is a big problem. Mm. They can't uh, do that right now because of uh, other restrictions, uh, health restrictions that are in place right now. So it's really kind of the worst possible situation. You have this exploding uh, population of rats and then you have you know, the inability to really fight it in the ways that you normally would. So things are uh, really, uh, you know, sounds cliche, but things are gonna get worse before they get better. Oh, absolutely. I think you're giving a lot of us nightmares. Len Ramirez in San Jose, thanks so much.